So at TV Ocean Road we use the method champenoise or the traditional method for making our sparklings. There is a lot of love going into every single bottle. Each individual bottle is handled 28 times. You know, it takes time and patience. It's critical where you get your fruit from for making premium sparkling wine in particular. So we like to hand pick at Deviation Road, especially with sparkling wine. We want to be gentle with the berries. You've got a hand selection process going on. You can actually control through your pickers exactly what's being picked. I spend more of my time sampling than anything else. That's based on walking and tasting, as well as um, crushing up a sample and analysing for sugar and alcohol and pH. So you really want to go straight from vineyard on a cool day, straight to the press. So we're just extracting the premium juice. With sparkling, we introduce yeast, which we you know, seed the fermentations to get them going. It takes about three weeks for a nice cool fermentation. So then it goes from juice to wine. So once those wines are through ferment, in the case of sparkling, that's when the blending occurs. And, and there's a lot of different components to blend. Blending is really good fun and we do that as a group. It's the moment where we get to allocate each little parcel to its home, so they're all like babies at this point. But then we're sort of really looking at getting the wine ready for tirage or bottling. It takes about six months from vintage to the wine being ready to go into bottle, and this process we call tirage. And it's the moment that we add the sugar and the yeast culture. Secondary fermentation is bottle fermentation. It's what makes what we do at Deviation Road completely different to others because it is individual bottle fermentation. During the secondary fermentation you get alcohol, you get carbon dioxide, you also get a population of yeast because they keep growing in there. They're called lees. Then it's the time it spends on those lees and that's really what can add some beautiful complexity to the wine. In the case of some of our longer ageing wines, five years, six years. Riddling is um, the process where the yeast are swept down into the neck of the bottle. It takes about 21 days and there's a gentle turning of the bottle. And that gradually sweeps the yeast down and then it gives us the opportunity to remove it by disgorging. So we hold the bottle upside down in an ice bucket and that will create a plug. And then because there's that pressure in the bottle from the second fermentation, we use that pressure to our advantage to blow out that yeast in quite a spectacular fashion. It's fairly explosive, it literally is. You've got a lot of popping going on. So we like to add a little bit of dosage liqueur, which contains sugar, a sweetness, just to balance before we put the cork in. A muselet wire is on the top and then it's ready for release. There's a signature uh, palette that you see on the Deviation Road wines. There's a line of citrus drive there's a freshness and there's an elegance. We're very lucky to be in the Adelaide Hills. We're sitting on some of the most ancient soils in the country and even in the world. I think our styles reflect the hills 100%.